Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are going to do a 20 minute session for legs and booty. It's going to be super, super intense. We know both workouts. The first one is going to be the 10 minute glute activation workout and the second one is the 12 minute leg workout from my channel. So it's actually 22 minutes. Um, and we have a one minute break in between. We are going to use a booty band for the first part. If you don't have one, you can still join us. You can also do it without the booty band, but I like using one because it helps me to hit my glutes a little bit more. So we are going to go right into it and start before we change our mind. <laughs> Take your glute band around your thighs like this. I'm using a heavy one. And then we start with some squats. Okay. And oh, and say hi to Dennis. Three, two, one. Okay, we start with some basic squats. Our knees are stable. They don't collapse inwards. And I feel like the booty band always forces me to push my knees a tiny bit outwards. And this helps me to hit my glutes a little more. And I squeeze the glutes every time I come up. And squeeze. And squeeze. And now we're gonna stay down and in the lower position and perform a little abductor movement, meaning we push our knees outwards even more, bring them in, and push the knees out. And every time you push them out, you try to squeeze your glutes at the back. And squeeze. Squeeze. And squeeze. And now you perform a squat, go down, do an abductor movement, and up again. Down, abductor, up. And every time, you squeeze your glutes at the bottom part when you go with the knees outwards and then you squeeze them on the way up. And out, up, out, and up. Very good. Okay, we stay down low, walk to the right, and we walk to the left. We stay as deep down as possible. Very good. And again, the booty band makes it even harder because it makes it harder to open the legs and the front side them. And that's good for our glutes. Okay, down. Don't go up yet. And perform the abductor movement once again. My thighs are starting to burn, my booty is burning. I'm squeezing my booty every time I open and close my knees. And squeeze, and squeeze. And we go into a slow squat. Thank God. My thighs are already burning like fire. But that's what we want. If it's starting to burn, we have to continue. Don't stop when it's burning, because that's when glute progress is happening. And don't forget about your booty. Okay, go down low and to the side, right and left. Always make sure that your knees are stable. For me, they always point a little bit outwards. This way, I can hit my glutes even better. Okay, into the jump spots, that's gonna be hard. And jump, jump, jump. Try to push yourself up to your heel. Not so much with your toes. Always push through the back of your foot. And jump. Jump. If you 
three, two, one. Okay, come down and do little pulses up and down, up and down. But you stay down and then you only do little movements at the lower point. Try to have your weight on your heel. Not so much on the toes. Four, three, two, one. And you got it. Oh my gosh, my thigh is burning. Come down to the mat and we continue with some serious booty work. Are we having a break? Oh yeah, we're having a break. We're changing position right now. Okay, we lift. Wait, I'm gonna do this side. We lift our leg to the side, squeezing the booty on the way up. Always try to hold the tension in your booty and you have maximum engagement up here. And squeeze, and squeeze. You hold at the, uh, at the highest point and then you do little pulses at the top. So you don't lower your leg all the way, but you stay at the top and do little pulses. That's an amazing one for the side booty and the outer thigh. Are you good? And we change legs. Do the same thing on the other side. Squeeze your booty on the way up and squeeze. And squeeze. Always think about the muscle you want to train. So we are thinking about the side part of our booty here. And we squeeze it every time we lift the leg. And squeeze. Hold the tension, stay at the upper point and do little pulses. I know it's hard, but it's gonna be over soon. <laughs> and stick with me. Pulse, pulse, pulse. The leg is as high as you can. Don't quit. Very good. Sit on your bum, open your legs, and do this movement. And hold. And hold. And hold. In comparison, that's quite an easy one. But if you really concentrate on the side of your booty, you will be able to feel it burn. And hold. And hold. Take your booty band and put it around your chest. So lower it a little bit. And then we meet on our belly. If you have pain around your hip, you can also put like a towel or a pillow or something underneath your hip. What is the first one? Would you? So we lift our legs at the back, up and down, and then we squeeze our booty every time we hit the upper point and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. So again, if you feel pain down here, then put a pillow underneath your hip. Hold at the upper point and then open and close your legs like this. So every time you open, you will be able to engage your side glutes a little more. Open and close, squeeze the side parts of your glute. Open and close, don't quit. 
squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. And now hold at the upper point. The easier version, you have your feet right next to each other. The harder version, you kind of have your, have your legs open. So you have to squeeze the side parts of your feet as well. And hold at the upper point as high as you can. And squeeze your glutes. Very good. We flutter the feet. My legs are still open. And again, we want to do a booty flutter, okay? So we don't only flutter the feet at the bottom, but we really engage the glute. It's rock solid right now. And we flutter with our booty. <laughs> Very good. Open and close the legs again. I know it's hard. Squeeze the sides of your booty. And squeeze, 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 hold the tension. Continue, don't quit. Very good. And now we hold. And I want you to squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze the booty, take the legs up. Squeeze the booty and also open your legs as hard as you can. So you have all kinds of movements up and open. And maximum engagement in here. Squeeze. Don't quit. I'm staying here with you. Very good. Now we can get rid of that little piece of torture down here. We take a small rest. And we come into standing position for the last 12 minutes of the workout. So now that our bum is like totally on fire, I promise you, you will be able to feel your bum even more during the, left, uh, during the rest of the workout. Because now you have like so much tension in here that you will always know, ah, I'm training my butt here. I'm training my butt because it's on fire. So booty activation is something amazing that you can do in front of every leg day. So we'll start with calf raise. Meaning your legs are wide right apart, and then at the top, you go up on your tippy toes, so you train your calves as well. So what I was saying was, you can do a booty activation session before you do any kind of leg day. So you fire up your glutes, and then the leg day will be more focused on the glute as well. Hold and lower point. And then go up on your tippy toes, right, left, and down. Right, left, and down. This way we train our calves as well. Very good. Stay down. Do it slow and controlled. Okay. Come into a lunge position. And we do little pulse lunges. Means we stay kind of at the lower point of the lunge and only go up and down and little pulses. My weight is on my heel and I squeeze the booty every time I come up in that lunge. Switch your legs and do the same thing on the other side. Squeeze your booty and squeeze and squeeze. Very good. Couple of more reps. Squeeze, squeeze, 
Let's jump in and out. In and out. Squeeze your 
strap on the way up and we meet down on the mat. We are in the side plank position and we lift our upper leg for an outer thigh lift. This strength our side abs as well. So we have both at the same time. Legs and core. Very good. Other side. And lift your upper leg. Up and down. Up and down. Very good. Couple of more seconds. We come to a blue bridge like this. Stretch out one leg and only have your weight. <laughs> not talk anymore. Have your weight on one heel and push yourself up with one heel. I don't have any weight on my toes. All of my weight is on my heel and I push and squeeze my glute every time. We hold. Hold, hold, hold. Don't let go of any tension you have in your butt. Hold at the highest point possible and squeeze your glute. If you feel like you're taking a rest, bring your hip up even higher and squeeze even more. I want you to squeeze as hard as possible. We switch the legs and we push with the other heel. Squeeze, squeeze. Go as high as you can for every repetition and squeeze your bum at the highest point. Very good. Don't take a rest. Come into the hold position. Squeeze your bum. Go even higher. Squeeze it and hold. I can hear the birds outside. What a beautiful day to train your legs. <laughs> squeeze, go higher and squeeze. Okay, we hold with both legs. That is, I'm dying here. Okay, hold with both legs. My weight is on my heels. I don't have any weight on my toes. And I push my hip up as hard as I can. I squeeze my glutes. We turn, come onto our belly, and we lift our booty once again. Now it's gonna be easier because we don't have the booty bend around our calves. But then again, it might be hard because we are at the end of the workout. Okay, open and close your legs. So come to the highest point and then open, close your leg. Don't do it down on the floor. Do it up in the air. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Squeeze the sides of your butt every time you open. Three, two, one. What? Single leg lift? Okay, so we hold and we lift one leg, leg after the other. Right one, left one. Right one, left one. We hold the tension and we only lift one leg. And I am starting to sweat. Believe it or not, I am sweating. Two, one. 
I have drops of sweat running down my forehead. But I want you to hold at the highest position. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can for the very last time. Don't quit. Squeeze it. Come, even, come up even higher. Squeeze. A lot of tension in my glutes. For joining me. I hope you had a wonderful time training some hinge and some legs with me. I'm sweating, my bum is burning, I achieved everything I wanted and I hope you have a wonderful